Hey, 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 day 24 of marketing fun. Ooh, look at how long it's getting up. <laughs> yeah, because this is, um, you know, uh, the, the grow back after chemo. So everything is fun. Everything is amazing. Everything is fantastic, right? Um, everything's fun. Everything's amazing. Everything's fantastic. Uh, let's talk about the calendar, right? So I hear a lot of people, um, posting what they're going to do for 2024 and all of these things. And the, and the end of the year always, always kind of triggers that for some folks, but let's be honest, right? So I'm doing these daily marketing tips, but most of the time, what you need is not another marketing tip. What you need is some stick to itness, some get off your assness, <laughs> some it's time to implementness, right? That's what it truly is. Um, and on day 24, let's talk about that, right? Just the change in the calendar, change of the date in the calendar is not going to change what happens in your business unless you change, period in the story. So this week of Christmas, when things slow down, when stores close early, when we're hanging with family, when we even don't even have a late night game. What? <laughs> right? right? Just watch Dallas Cowboys lose. But what should you be doing, right? So... I talked on my page about the getting ready to get ready. I know, and I'm a, you know, next week, I'm gonna just really get it together. But so here's what I would love for you to do is number one, um, commit to spending one hour working on your business next week, not in it, working on it, right? C every day, commit to assessing what worked for this year and what didn't work and what you need to do better with. Commit to how much you are going to make of an investment every single month in your business. I don't care if it's $100. So even when I was rebuilding back my million dollar telephone company, right? Do you think that cash was tight? Hell yeah, nobody was giving me any loans. I just filed bankruptcy. What was I supposed to do, yeah? But what I could do and that's always what I think is not what I can't do, but what can I do? What I could do, this is before social media too, by the way, is what I could do is I went and bought cardstock. Right? I had $22. I bought a, a ream of cardstock, 500 pieces. I designed in Microsoft Publisher <laughs> um, a postcard and I made four of them on one piece of cardstock. And so I took them to Office Max and Office Max isn't even need to open now, right? It's Office um, Depot, I think, or maybe that's not the one open. I don't know, Staples, right? So I took it there. They printed them for me on my own cardstock. It was 10 cents piece because a friend of mine was a teacher and teachers got a discount. She gave me the discount card. What? What can I do, right? Not just what will I do, what can I do? So I took those to um, the office printing store and I printed them 20 at a time. It cost $2 <laughs> to do the other side, so it cost me $5 total. I went and I bought as many stamps as I could and I mailed them out as many as I could at a time postcards that I made. So many people go, oh no, I need four color ones. No, they were black and white. I just printed them on this cardstock and I got people to call. I had a, a, a compelling offer, um, which was I was offering a free activation for their phone service. All they had to do was call. All they had to do was call. And so when they called, they were entered into a drawing and yada, yada, yada. And then everybody got second place. Like it's a, it's a fun, fun story. Um, if you haven't read my book, The Million Dollar Equation, I talk about how I did that. But the, the point 
I would like to make here is that it's never about what you can't do. It's always about what you can do. And when you can start a little bit at a time, implementing, changing, it gets addicting. Yeah. So that now I can do eight hours straight of just working on my business and getting stuff going instead of working in it because it's fun, because I know that it produces results. So as we get closer and closer and closer to that new year and that change in calendar, number one, don't wait. <laughs> number two, commit to your investment of time, your investment of energy, and your investment of money. Whether it be $100 or $10,000, invest in what it needs to be so that next year can be better than this year. Next year can be better than this year. All right, enjoy your Christmas Eve. Um, we're going to my cousin Sancy's house <laughs> and we're having a party over there. Uh, we play bingo. We play left, right, center for, for money. You know, they all accused me of, of turning me into to child protective services because my kid's been winning every single year since she was 14. <laughs> it's like I hated to tell them that my mother loved to play, loved to gamble when we lived in Vegas, right? So of course, when she taught my kid even how to how to um, add and subtract, she was teaching her how to play blackjack. So I'd come home, my kid's sitting there playing blackjack with my mom for pennies. <laughs> Crazy story. Um, but you get to decide what next year needs to look for look like uh i've got some availability next week ain't gonna lie got some open if you want to chat and figure out what you should be doing i don't care what your budget is per month if you want to chat i always do them for free um let's chat figure out what the hell is going on and to make 2024 your best year yet. All right, y'all. I love you for free. I'll see you tomorrow on Christmas. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye.